hello everyone and welcome to the first video of the year i have not really been recording anything after vlogmas i decided to take a break and i decided today to make this video so we went grocery shopping to trader joe's and whole foods and i figured i would show you guys what we got so for trader joe's we go there like every I would say like every two months so we don't go super often but typically there we go and buy very specific things i don't do like my grocery shopping when we go there and then at whole foods is where we do most of our shopping and for proteins i usually will leave it for costco unless whole foods is having like some type of sale or something like that so let me show you guys what we got at whole foods and then we'll do trader joe's at the very end all right so typically at whole foods i spend about a mm, hundred dollars roughly every week but it could vary from week to week depending if we need like a few extra things that we typically wouldn't buy and that's what happened for this um shopping trip i bought a few things that were on sale or just things that we were out of and i really wanted to have so these here are our favorite favorite chips um the brand and francisco likes these ones they're supposed to be limited edition but i think they've been going on already for a few months so we're hoping that they end up keeping them for good this is the avocado oil ones but it's in collaboration with the yellow bird um sauce well i think was this the sauce i got you no oh yeah i think i got you the sauce so you can put the sauce on top of the chips the same one i think it's the same one i'm gonna check right now but i'm pretty sure i got you the habanero one yeah because i noticed that the serrano had cucumber in it yeah that's not good that's probably why i didn't like it then maybe you didn't like it yeah this one's supposed to have a few of the vegetables added but not nothing weird so we get these for Francisco and they're pretty spicy, right? I would say they're like medium spice. Yeah, I would say so. They're not like hot Cheeto, but they're, you know, there's a nice spice to them. And then these are the chips that we eat with my sister or just like in general, we all like these chips. These are just the regular sea salt and all the ingredients that it has is just potatoes, avocado oil and sea salt. So they're super clean. I always, always like having these for like little snacks or even if I'm having a sandwich or something as a side. And yeah, I just really like them. And I think they were like three for nine, I want to say, or three for six. I don't remember. So that's why I bought three. Plus we were out because last time I placed an order, they removed it because supposedly they were out. So I haven't had chips for maybe like two weeks now. Then I got my favorite current bread. This is from Mighty, no, One Mighty Mill. That's the brand up there and i get different ones they have like the everything ones they have uh i think it's just whole wheat but this is my favorite one the mighty power greens because as you guys can see it has like a nice amount of grains throughout and i just really really like it and last week i placed an order for this one and i put as a substitution the whole wheat and they gave me days color bread i was like um no that's not what i wanted but then I tried to do a refund. It was like a whole thing. So I ended up just keeping it. But this is the favorite bread for me. All right. Then moving on, we got some veggies here. I got six tomatoes on the vine. These are the best tomatoes you can have. They smell. Oh, I love the smell. What do you say that these smell like fresh cut grass? That's what it reminds me of. Um, Fresh cut I, I grass. So that's what I like buying. So I got six of those. We usually will eat them with like salad. That's typically how we eat our tomato. Unless there's like a specific dish for them. But most of the time I'll buy like four to six tomatoes. And typically what I like to do is before we go grocery shopping, I'll create like a menu for the week. And then I'll go down the list of things that I might need for that menu. And that's basically what I base my shopping off of and of course like i said there's always like added things that we might have run out of or whatever and i try to have like an ongoing shopping list on my whole foods app which is basically your amazon app and it really helps me to kind of stay organized and yeah so for this week we're gonna make um tortilla chicken tortilla soup and like uh we call it potato cake but it's almost like a shepherd's pie but i think it's better so basically you just put a layer of meat, a layer of, wait, no, you do potato, right? No, I forgot. Potato, meat, potato. potato. Yeah. So it's potato, meat, potato, and then 
um, when you cut it, it basically looks like a cake and it looks really pretty. So you and, cheese too. Oh, you can do cheese, you can do boiled eggs, you can do, um, hmm? You can do olives. So you can do like a few different things within it. I usually do just the boiled egg with the potato, uh, cheese and the potatoes or whatever. So that's what we're making this week. So I bought some cilantro to go with the tortilla soup. I also got two avocados, which will be for topping the tortilla soup. So they're still pretty hard. So I'm hoping by the end of the week, oh, they'll be good to go. He's so upset. Got one bell pepper because that's what I'll need for the tortilla soup. You're so annoying. I wonder if they can. No, thank you. You can't see him. Look, look, look how he did. Uh, he left. Look, let's see he He's so upset. Yeah, you've never seen him. How he pushes me, huh? I, he does it to me, but not as much as he does it to you. Then I got one bag of potatoes. These are gonna be for the mashed potato that I'm gonna use for the potato cake. And these are just the organic russet potatoes. I have been buying the yellow potatoes for just regular mashed potato, but for like the potato cake, I actually like buying these. All right, up next, we also got three of these. These are the Good Culture Whole Milk Cottage Cheese, and Francisco likes to eat these, even though I've been buying that for him and he keeps letting them go bad. But I bought three of them because they were three for like, I wanna say three for like five or something like that. But I've heard these are good and cheat in eggs not cheese and i tried it can't say it was my favorite but i don't mind it so i need to find a way to maybe eat these because i feel like they're very healthy for you but i also saw somebody make this as a base with like i think it was pecans or walnuts and honey and they just put them on top and it looked really good so if you guys eat cottage cheese let me know how you eat it because i don't know i want to get into it but i just don't know how then I got the Simple Mills cookies. These are the crunchy almond flour cookies and toasted pecans. These are so yummy. They also have like a chocolate flavor that we really like and then the chocolate chip ones, but we like all the crunchy ones, not the soft ones. And they were also on sale. Got a bag of frozen corn, the sweet yellow corn for the tortilla soup. And I got a ton of milk because last week they ran out apparently, so I didn't have any more milk but I've been buying this one, the milk, and this is just unsweetened and it's three simple ingredients. It's water, almonds, and salt. So I got that to have during the week. And then I try, I wanted to try this one, which is the vanilla flavor. And it has four ingredients. So it has the same as the other one, but with added pure organic vanilla extract. So I want to use this for like my coffee. I think it's going to be maybe tasty we shall find out okay then we also got two different salads i like to eat this one my sister likes to eat this one for no particular reason but mostly because of texture she likes the crispy lettuce technically they're both crispy lettuce but they're not the same so oh wait did i buy the right one yes so as you guys can see i don't know if you'll be able to even tell they are a little bit different but in the end they're sort of the same this is from Gotham Greens. This is from Plenty. And then I got this. This is a Whole Foods, Whole Foods brand, organic feta and spinach chicken sausage. I actually have made this in the air fryer and we will have it for like lunch. And it's really, really yummy. I got some Mexican blend cheese, which has Monterey Jack, sharp cheddar cheese, queso blanco, asadero cheese, which I have no idea what it is. And I'm gonna use this for the tortilla soup. And then I got the Monterey Jack to use inside the potato cake. Sounds so weird to say it in English. Got a bag of frozen brown rice because I do not make rice from scratch because I don't have time for that and it tastes the same. So I buy that all the time now. We also buy the white one, but I try to always have the brown one just because it has more added benefits. And then I got this, which I've never ordered from Whole Foods before, but it's just a beef bologna. We typically get it at sprouts but since we were there i figured we would try it i think we've tried this no we haven't tried this brand this is a fork in the road brand virginia ham and it was like 12.99 per pound so we got half a pound to try out see if we like it got a pack of almond tortillas because i feel like we haven't had tortillas in a very long time and that's a really quick 
easy lunch for me like if i want to make like a quesadilla or a quick taco or something for our lunches and since i haven't had any i haven't been able to make it all right and then in the last bag from whole foods i got this which i don't think i've tried before this is the halo no the oceans halo organic 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 noodles and what i liked about it is that it was just organic wheat water and sea salt so i wanted to try this out for like quick dinner quick lunch i don't know we'll see what we use it for but basically it comes with four little packs and each pack is basically a serving so it'll have four servings and i thought it would be very convenient and then i bought it to use it with this which is from the acid league brand this is the shio ramen broth concentrate and it's supposed to make 20 cups how crazy is that i don't think i've ever even heard of this before they have a ton of different like things within the same brand like different lines of things like they have um, salad dressings i think they had different like vinegars um i think they had like barbecue sauce too i don't know but we'll see how this one works out so basically you grab a tablespoon and you mix it into one cup of hot water for an instant broth and you can do or add a couple of dashes to soup. So we shall see how this tastes with the noodles. So, got that. Um, we bought some sauces. Oh no, see I got you the habanero plate flavor. Wait. The same one. Oh yeah, it is the same one. Perfect, okay. So I got these two sauces from Yellow Bird. We've tried the sriracha one before and we really, really like it. Um, basically it has like really weird ingredients honestly for a sriracha Let's see if it focuses but when you mix them all together somehow it works and it tastes really good so i wanted to buy it again especially because it was on sale and then i got the habanero flavor which is the same flavor as the potato chips which is going to be cool to add them to and this one is made with like carrots onions and a bunch of other stuff like carrots probably what gives it like that bright orange color i would imagine but that's the ingredients right there super clean and we really like those sauces and they will last us quite a while honestly so that's why i don't mind paying the extra price because they're going to be cleaner anyway so i got a jar of jalapenos i really like this brand the real luna brand so whenever we run out i always repurchase this one because they're spicy enough but not like um like unbearable but they're still pretty spicy and i actually really like them then i got four cans of roasted tomatoes this is the favorite or my favorite one to buy the mer glen mer glen brand and i buy the fire roasted tomatoes they were on sale for like four or nine or something i forget and i'm gonna be using that for the tortilla soup Got some black beans to also use with the tortilla soup. And then got some kettle and fire bone broth. We've been out of this for actually quite a while. So I bought three of them. They were on sale, but they're still kind of pricey. They're like six bucks each. And we usually will share one carton with Francisco for like lunch typically. And so this is gonna be like six servings for us. So I just wanted to have a few because they're very healthy for you they're they have like a ton of added like vitamins and things and all the good stuff so i always like to have this but because i was sick what was it during thanksgiving i ended up drinking basically all of them so i needed to restock on that so i'm glad to have that now all right so that basically does it for the whole foods items and then from trader joe's like i said we go there every two months or so and from there i typically buy like mostly like random things so things that will work as like quick lunches quick dinners quick snacks and things like that so there's a lot of like frozen packaged food that i buy so we like buying their hash browns especially francisco he really likes these so i usually try to always buy them every time we go they won't last us obviously the two months but um we'll eat them with like eggs because we have eggs for lunch so this is typically what we'll eat with that. I also got these, which we've tried before. I think they're newer, but um, they're supposed to be like gluten-free, but they still taste pretty good, I would say. They're the chicken tacos, mini chicken tacos. So this is a really quick 
type of like snack or lunch or whatever i got this to try out the instant boba kit and it looked pretty good i think i've heard someone talking about it and they said it was pretty good i forget someone i follow but um i think it comes with four yeah four servings and i don't know i thought it would look or i thought it looked really interesting so i figured we'd give it a try this one we tried and i really 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 liked it like it was so yummy this is the quiche lorraine which is uncured ham and cheese oh my gosh this is so so yummy i've tried their other quiche quiches quiches and this has been by far my favorite so hopefully it's not like a seasonal item because that's gonna make me very sad which is why i bought two we've also had this before and we really really like it it's their burrata prosciutto and arugula flatbread so you good so yummy got two little salmon steaks and these are alaskan wild sockeye salmon and it was 12 dollars for pretty big sizes i don't think it was cheap but i thought it was pretty cool that it just came with just the two and then i got some salted edamame fully cooked soybean in the pods i've bought the ones in like on the out no what is it with like deshelled and i just don't really like it like i like the whole taking them out of the pods so i got two of these and these could be like an easy snack or you can add them to like an asian dish but i'll probably just keep them for like a snack i got these to try out this is the korean style beef short ribs i want to say i saw um i forget what the page is but it's basically a trader joe's page that i follow and they always show like dishes that they make with their food and they've used this one it looked pretty good so we'll give that a try I got this before and I really, really like it. This is their artichoke tembales. And it's basically just artichoke hearts baked with mozzarella and grand grana padona cheese. I don't know what that is. But they're just little cups. You guys will be able to see them right here. And they just taste like legit artichoke hearts. So I really like these. And I thought they were seasonal, but I saw them again. So I wanted to get another pack okay so those are all the frozen items and then i got a few things around the store like package things but i also got this bag how cute is this bag so it basically looks like just the paper bags that you would buy anywhere but this is a reusable bag and i really liked it because it was like a good size and it looks like it's pretty well made it was only five dollars so i got two of them and that's what we use today but i think it's going to be pretty useful hopefully it doesn't rip and it's washable Oh, it's washable paper. Interesting. All right, so last time we went to Trader Joe's, I tried to look for these and I couldn't find them, so I thought maybe they were seasonal. But this time, I found them again. I think I bought them, not this last time, but the time before, and I fell in love with these breads. So if you guys are big bread lovers, I would highly recommend these ones, the organic French rolls. They're so fresh. Like, I don't know when they make them, but they... I don't know they're just so fresh they're so soft and basically the ingredients are flour water sea salt yeast and barley flour so they're super super clean they're organic and i don't know i just thought they were really good especially for their price i think it's like 3.99 and you get six of them so these are perfect for sandwiches they're perfect for just as a side little bun <gasps> i just realized we bought a lot of potato chips I, about these. I just realized how many potato chips i bought this weekend probably didn't meet that many but you know we eat them so it's it's whatever i got the keto cooked olive oil potato chips and it's just potatoes olive oil and salt and i tried these a few i think the last time we went i bought them to try out and i really like them because they're very crunchy so if you really like really really crunchy potato chips i would give these a try and i think they're like $2.99 or something like that so now we have potato chips for days then i also got two bags of these giant popcorn uh whatever popcorn bags two bags of popcorn there you go and it's just popcorn for oh, oh my gosh i can't speak so this is popcorn extra virgin olive oil and sea salt and these are like a really really fast really cheap snack it comes with so much like it comes filled to all the way 
here and you know sometimes like in between our lunch and dinner we get a little bit hungry and this is like a great way to like trick the hunger until your food's ready so i like having these every single time we go i always buy at least one bag to have because they're just very convenient snack and they're healthy they're made with great ingredients and they're not very expensive either i think that whole bag is like a dollar 99 or something like that which is kind of crazy and then the last item i bought is this one to try out i've never even seen this one it's the japanese style panko breadcrumb and what i liked about it is that it's just wheat flour cane sugar yeast and salt a lot of the breadcrumbs that you find in basically any stores have so much junk in them it's kind of doesn't make sense to me because if it's like if you're buying this bread this bread only has a few ingredients if you toast this in the oven and you make it into breadcrumbs you get breadcrumbs but for some reason when you try to buy breadcrumbs on their own they're very filled with just junk so i like that this one was very simple i don't know if it's gonna be good we shall see when i try it out but <sighs> that was a lot of stuff a lot of chips a lot of snacks but i thought it would be fun to show you guys some of our weekly purchases um but that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoy this type of videos please remember to give me a thumbs up so i know to make them more often and i'll see you guys on my next one Bye.